Oh no, you're gonna get locked out. We're never gonna be able to rescue that dog. Yeah. Oh shit. Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. No. Hide behind the Buddha. Welcome to Two Left Thumbs, my name is Graham. I'm actually joined today by Paul from Boss Room. We're taking a look at the new game, Songbringer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, yes. My name is Paul. Is On this old file that you have, is one of the items that your character has a like a red solo cup? Yes, it is a cup. <laughs> it is literally a cup. Is it actually? Yeah, it is. <laughs> we are playing Songbringer today by uh, one of my good uh, friends. I don't want to. I want to call him a friend because we talked a lot. And uh, Nathaniel uh, Weiss, I believe, is his name. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, or Wizard Foo on Twitter. Oh, that's such a kick-ass name. Yeah. So uh, we're playing Songbringer. It is a procedurally generated Zelda. Uh, Zelda for the NES type game? Probably a little easier to show. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, I have played this game before. An hour and 16 minutes, uh, back when it was in beta. So I don't even know if the save file will still work, to be honest. I'm, I'm <laughs> totally new to the game, too. I actually haven't seen any of the game. My mm -hmm. personal vote is to play new games, so I can, I can get the fresh... The fresh no, like experience. From, from scratch, beginning, yeah. Got it. So we're also, gonna... is your health bar slices of pizza? Because it kind of looks like slices of pizza. <laughs> uh, I I always implied they were teeth. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Cool. All right. Uh, ooh. Oh God. Uh, how how daring are you feeling right now? Oh. Regular. Mm, like, you, nah. would you lose any progression you made? <laughs> Wait, which one did you just choose? I, I, I chose to be, uh, I chose to be fucking permadeath. Really? That's <laughs> what I thought you chose, and I assumed it was accidental. Good nope, for you. That was, a uh, that, that, oh, this is, like, it's sick-ass loading screen, by the way. I love this loading screen. That's cool, yeah, it's just slowly building up everything. Yeah, it's fucking great. 13,000 years ago. Uh, this is an old ass game. <laughs> yeah, dude. Oh god, I know, right? <laughs> Jesus, I remembered it like well yesterday. ahead of its time. I didn't even know that they had PCs back then. Walking to a stranger's face. Waking. Waking. <laughs> Walk. I, whatever. Born without memory. I actually haven't. I don't think the story was even in here when I played the beta. Into probably, a camp of revelers not. living aboard. An old ship named Songbringer. Oh, hey! you and I were asking ahead of time. Is it? Is this game about bringing music to people? So wouldn't that kind of make uh, a ship like the Songbringer well, Bringer? Well, I'm pretty sure the 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 guy you the guys you play as the guy you play as. I'm pretty sure he's in a band. Oh, yeah. So that makes sense that he would name his ship Songbringer then. Yeah. So uh, I I. I think that's the entire idea. I think that you're like this really weird rocker dude. <laughs> <laughs> that like I'm down for that. Crash lands on a planet. I think is the is the entire idea. Yep, there, that that would be me. Pretty sure. I mean, Ocarina of Time isn't Link basically just running around as some weird rocker dude. He's some kind of weird alt indie style music though. Yeah. <laughs> what oh, the hell just happened? What in the sweet shit? Uh, what? That's Rock a... Jr. Is that his name? What is he saying? I think that says Rock Jr. <laughs> uh, I don't know if that's. We're struck by lightning. Okay. Do you want me to voice Rock? Don't remember falling from the sky. Come on, man. You gotta use English <laughs> letters. <laughs> you gotta use the alphabet if you want me to read it. I will make note possible brain damage incurred. <laughs> Wait, what? What happened to my shirt? <laughs> so yes, I don't uh, think you were ever wearing one. This is this is my guy. Uh, we have teeth of courage down in the bottom right corner, showing our health. At least I assume they were teeth. I think they used to be white, which is why I thought they were teeth. But now they, I, now it was I'm a not little sure. more clear. Yeah, now I'm not sure. They might just they might be just a really weird heart. All right, so Do you yeah. know why? So why did it say courage in the bottom right then? 
I, I think that's uh, your courage to move forward in the world. Oh, oh, sure. Yeah. Do you see like a horse or a dog or something kicking its legs around up top there? <laughs> it was like half sunk into the ground. Oh god, I I, I did not. Better grab the sword. Sword first. <laughs> it's my lucky day, Jib. A free sword. I guess your name is Jib. Oh, please don't touch it. I mean, he's like a panicky, like, alpha from Power Rangers. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, no. <laughs> That's how I picture him, at least. Ooh. There we go. We got our fucking sword. The nano sword. Nano this sword, sword. Um, makes a humming noise. <laughs> uh, it's. I, oh no, you're gonna get locked out. We're never gonna be able to rescue that dog. Yeah. Oh shit. Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No. Hide behind the Buddha. Eh. Eh. <laughs> eh. Eh. Well, that worked out okay. Oh, except for this thing. Oh god, I remember this enemy. I absolutely hated this enemy. No! Jib! <laughs> the guy who I'm pretending that I am. <laughs> you protect him, Paul. Don't let him get I'm, attacked. I'm trying. I'm telling you, this enemy's terrible. I hated it back when I played the <laughs> initial beta. Oh man, good thing he gives out a lot of health. Yeah. Like, the game will be a lot easier if it dishes out health. Especially since you picked permadeath. Oh yeah, right, man. that's true, I did. <laughs> Completely forgot about that. I almost did too. <laughs> Holy shit. Ah, oh, you know, God. it's just the normal space cantaloupe. It's we're fine. That looks fine. Uh, I am not even sure if it was a space cantaloupe, to be honest. I, <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just sort of assuming things at this point. But I, Oh, and <laughs> see on the very far right edge, that squirrel that's digging around in the ground, that's what I was seeing before. Oh, yeah, it's a squirrel. Yeah, it wasn't. I thought maybe you could get yourself like a horse companion or something. Not no. quite. Not not quite the way that works. Uh, but yeah, so right now we're just sort of exploring. Your character does have a bit of an animation before he actually pulls out his sword. Which is, uh... Oh, like, you have to time your swings a little bit? Uh, kind of. Uh, so, like, if I walk into like a new a area, or if I let him put away his sword, if I can remember how he does that. Uh, okay, let's just assume that when I walk into a new area, he'll put away his sword or something. But uh, you do have a bit like of a delay time before like you pull out the sword from like its sheath, I guess. Oh, oh. specifically when you change areas though, not like, like is there a delay when you just hit attack? Attack? Uh, no, not really delay when you hit attack, but there is like a delay when uh, you're pulling out your weapon initially. Okay, all right, you got to be careful with that then. Yeah. Oh god, I'm so excited. So I, I've been I followed this game for quite some time. The developer, uh, Nathaniel. Who the heck are we? There's a pig! Two dots away Two from Songbringer. Two dots away from Songbringer. Smells good. <laughs> Stealing my lines. Oh, right, I forgot. Sorry. Smells good. <laughs> we are cooking here, random stranger. Oh, a hunter's eyes never deceive him. That is the nano sword. And you must be the fool that took it. <laughs> I just jumped in. I don't know. I did mention it being a bad idea, Rock. Oh, are you Rock? Yeah, I think I'm Rock. Yeah. Okay. Do you realize what you've done? That sword is a trap. I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> that seems fine. Shit! Oink! <laughs> I guess he's a big man. You don't know what the you don't know about the Great War, the Tower, the final battle that took place here <laughs> on Xera seven hundred years ago. I mean, we're dealing on a scale of like sixteen thousand years. Seven hundred. Shakes not head. <laughs> <laughs> SMH is all it should have said there. <laughs> Get away from me, fool! So, I guess that's no to dinner, then. <laughs> oh, he's not a very friendly pig person. Maybe if you redeem yourself. 
bring a hunter, <laughs> some some spirits. Why does he keep doing his Tony the Tiger holding his R's? Oh, maybe a hunter, maybe a hunter will think more highly of you. Gurk. <laughs> this guy's just full of fun noises. Uh, a hunter wants some spirits. Oh shit. Okay. So this is our inventory. Oh. Uh, this is our oh, inventory damn. and our map. Alternatively. Uh. Ooh, you can actually navigate the map now. That's not a thing that used to be. That wasn't a thing initially. Um, right. I feel like this gives a really strong sense of how big this map is likely going to be. Yeah. Wow, did everything just turn into, like, cool twilight? Kind of, yeah, like yeah. Different areas, different areas have... Oh, God. Oh. Uh, <laughs> oh, no. Uh. Hard to outrun. <laughs> it doesn't like us. Scanning for an exec DNA it match. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Don't uh, worry about it, just... <laughs> <laughs> I keep forgetting. Sorry, I, I normally read everything aloud, which is why I'm, like, really confused at the moment. I, to... <laughs> I just get caught up in it. <laughs> yeah. I have to find someone to help. Let's open this thing. Okay, sweet. Uh, so we can't actually fucking get, go in there yet, which is awesome. We're gonna slice a pig up. Oh, God. I Wait, actually took damage from that. Him? Wait. Oh, that's always... There's always a gamble, you asshole. <laughs> there's always a gamble in games, <laughs> wanker. <laughs> you called me a wanker. That's amazing. I All feel right. like you never know. It's a 50-50 whether fire is going to actually do damage in a game. Ooh. Whoa. Yeah, okay. Did so this, this guy not realize he set up camp directly in front of a diamond stash? I mean, whether he does or doesn't, it's... I it's, uh, accidentally went back in. Whether he doesn't or doesn't... <laughs> Uh, whether he does or doesn't, it's not his. It's not relevant to him anymore because I took it. <laughs> yeah, it's been claimed. Wow, these look like little tiny mammoths. Yeah, I, I was like... about to say they look like little elephants. <laughs> yeah, oh god! I like the looks of I'm being attacked oh, by shit. what is essentially octorox. No. <laughs> yeah, I can't even. They're... They're just. Oh, I see one now. They're just poking up in the water, eh? Yeah. Eventually, Ooh, you'll get I... like. Items that allow you to uh, fight people at a distance, and I believe eventually your sword actually starts shooting out um, the light beams, kind of like how in, in Zelda you have like the oh the master yeah. sword shooting yeah. out light beams. Bio detector detects large bio and energetic sources and locates them on the map. Right, 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 right. Is that something you actually have to use, or is it good, gonna just do it on its own? So like, is I it just automatically it just going to start? Yeah, I just used okay. it then. You see that green marker that's blinking on the map? That was where the other guy was sending us, wasn't it? Uh, the spirits quest? It can't be. It might be. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably fine. Dude, this is the moment this... where, like, if he, if the developer is watching my video, he realizes I know nothing about his. Oh, oh god! <laughs> Why am I dying? Why do I feel like I'm dying? This is really complicated procedural generation because in that area you were just in, the map was like split in half, so you, there's like only a couple different ways you can approach it rather than it being open from all four sides. So that takes like some really complicated programming to make sure that stitches together properly. Yeah, I don't know anything about programming, to be fair. <laughs> but I mean, I, I am... I got really into Rogue Legacy, Binding of Isaac, and now, like, Dead Cells, and I've been reading a lot of stuff on procedural generation. Oh, and Spelunky? <gasps> but yeah, that stuff's complicated. All right, time to show Whoa. you my favorite item. Woo! Oh, are you gonna... <laughs> oh, okay, I thought that you're just odd job now. I thought for I thought you were gonna replace Jib with a top hat. <laughs> he wasn't needed anymore. I hope not. I like Jib. Jib's a cool guy. Yeah, he can stick around. There's a co-op mode in this where the second person just plays as Jib, and I don't know what they would actually do. Yeah. Oh, I think this is actually one of my friends. Uh, oh. Monk Zamesh, is that you? Uh, Jib, did you hear that voice? Voice. Blood voice. Oh, that's right. You're fuck. <laughs> it's me, Val. Monk, don't go into the tower. I think. I think you gotta go into the tower. I think she's cryo dreaming, man. Nothing detected over radio. 
I've been so lonely today. Don't go. I... Uh, not going anywhere. <laughs> so cavalier. <laughs> I'm just going to be right here. <laughs> well, Chill out. <laughs> promise me you won't ascend the tower. What did the sh Why did she think that I'm a monk? Hearing voices is a common side effect of brain damage. I'm starting to think I'm not the one with brain damage. <laughs> I'm starting to think that it's this robot that thinks I had brain damage. Starting to. Th I think I I would, uh, I I would think that's more likely. Yes. Traces of radiation. This guy looks bad. This uh, it looks like. Yeah, this guy looks like a boss type deal. Yeah. Um, He's he looks like a rusty knight. He looks cool as shit though. That seems like a good amount of intrigue, so maybe that's where we'll leave things for now, and next time we'll come back and dive a little bit further into this random world of Songbringer.